the main thing that we were talking about was how to deliver value from the HE estate. The HE estate is very big, it's over 26 million square metres, it has a very large capital value associated with it. There have been major changes over the years that have led to a lot of improvements and what we're trying to do now is to find the ways of delivering further value for money in the context of the phase two work. The estate has a big impact, not only on the way that people work, but on how students learn. But if we think about it, it's one of the very tangible things that we see about higher education. When students come along on open days, it's the estate that they see. Do they like the look of the facilities? Do they like the atmosphere on campus? And the same with trying to attract very high quality staff as well. The estate has a big impact there, so we want to try and make, to make sure that there's a very good quality of estate and also that it's used as effectively and efficiently as possible and that the estate keeps track with the way that HE needs are changing. So that as teaching methods change, as research methods change, the estate keeps track with that and we, that we don't end up with a big mismatch between what people want to see and what they're actually accommodated in. In terms of looking to the future, I think one of the very important things that people need to think about is when institutional missions are being developed, when people are thinking about their teaching and learning strategies, what's the impact going to be on space? It's uh, something that's often considered as an afterthought rather than upfront. Can we start to plan the scenarios to make sure that we get the right space and also that it's space that is going to be used well and effectively and will be versatile for the future? Mm -hmm.